Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological Cycle. I'm going to be talking about the Sun conjunct Mercury in a natal chart. Now, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a natal chart. Uh, they're a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy. So what I decided to do was make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, uh, first up, well, if you have the Sun conjunct Mercury in the natal chart, there may be a very intensified focus on your uh, communications. You know, if you have, you know, say, Mercury and Cancer, like me, you know, those communications may be nostalgic, traditional, connected with the past about history, even matters with laundry and plumbing. Um, they may be emotional as well. Um, and the thing is, first, the people that have this placement um, you know, may be proficient in uh, math. There may be you know, strong you know, mathematical skills and abilities. And uh, you know, if you have the conjunction in Scorpio, say, you know, it could be solving you know, complex mathematical problems, as an example. Um, the thing about this is, too, having this aspect, well, it may shine the light, so to speak. You know, not just on communication skills, but writing you know, ability as well. If you have the conjunction in Aquarius, say, um, it could be writing, you know, having very good writing skills and connected with you know, astronomy, astrology, computers, electronics, you know, science fiction, you know, innovation, you know, things of that nature. And also, too, there may be very uh, intense you know, drive and motivation. You know, toward uh, it could be manual dexterity, and especially if you have you know an interest in this anyway, and then you know this aspect can give you know may give certain ability uh, you know for doing things with manual dexterity, such as working on you know uh, automotives, uh, automotive repair, working on vehicles, or you know, refrigeration uh, repair, as uh, some examples and. You know, if it's an Aquarius, it could be like, you know, doing like an AC, you know, unit or units. You know, this is, um, you know, com or, or even computers or electronics as far as repair goes using dexterity, uh, manual dexterity. And also, too, uh, Mercury is connected with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. So those people may uh, have play more of a pivotal role in your life, which is you know, the sun is connected with our life, you know, than uh, most others. You know, say going to the you know, Aquarius again, say if the conjunctions in Aquarius, you know, we're you know, just having the sun in Aquarius, your life may be one in which you express a lot of humanitarianism, selflessness, altruism as uh, some examples. And the thing is, and also too, there may have been more of like an intention and focus on the early education more so uh, than the average person if you do have this aspect in your uh, natal chart you know if you have you know say you know the, the conjunction of being in Taurus it could be you know, where you may have you know, early education may have been you know where not only did you have more attention on you very persistent you know in you know, learning you know whatever you were doing in your early education and uh, learning perhaps in a very rather you know methodical deliberate manner and the thing too is this aspect can give um, an exceptional memory I mean I have the Sun conjunct Mercury in my natal chart I've had a number of people tell me you know, that I have you know, a remarkable memory and the thing is I have it in the zodiac sign cancer and you know cancer can have mercury and cancer by itself could have a retentive uh, type of memory so I have a very it's a very good aspect for me to be able to retain things and, you know whether it's you know good things or whether it's bad you know the memory you know, for me is as long for a lot of um, you know, things in general now another thing about you know, this aspect could also indicate you know a lot of vitality and energy that may be expended you know on uh, short journeys you know you have you know the conjunction in cancer like me again it could be 
where you're going to a lot of places that you know might be historical for you or nostalgic. Um, you're going you know, more to you know, places that sell food more so than, than the average person. Now, I know, you know pretty much everybody you know, goes you know, shopping in grocery stores regardless of astrological you know, placements and aspects, but it might, it might figure more prominently you know, with somebody you know, that has this conjunction in the zodiac sign cancer more so than most other people on average. Now, another thing too about this, uh, you know, this aspect could also suggest that the ego could be strongly tied into, um, you know, one's, you know, intellect or intellectual ability, an ability to grasp, understand, and knowledge, you know, assimilation of, of information. And, you know, this is um, something where, you know, the person, you know, loses some you know, contest with somebody that you know, tested you know, one's cerebral ability or mental agility. It might be a little more demoralizing for this person, you know, more so, uh, you know, than most other people on average. And the thing, too, is, um, you know, this person may be one that thrives, you know, on, you know, intellectual stimulation. And, um, you know, it could be, you know, games, it could be by playing games of mental agility, you know, whatever it might be. You know, whether it's through schooling, whether it's playing games connected, you know, with um, with mental agility, you know, whatever it might um, it might be, you know, if you have the conjunction in Virgo, say, it could be playing, you know, games that also have like this very strong mental analysis, like chess or IQ, you know, as an example, and it may be too where there may be a lot of you know just general mental and physical activity when you have this placement because um if the sun is connected you know has a connection with the physical body mercury's mobility and it's also you know mental you know activity so you can be somebody that might be very active in body and mind if you do have uh, this aspect in your natal chart now another thing too is you know you may be someone too where the um, you know the biological father, which is connected to the son, may figure more prominently, you know, in your communications, you know, um, day to day. You know, if you have, you know, the sun in Leo, you know, it could actually be a Leo sun moon or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies you know, Leo characteristics. Someone that might be, you know, very you know, uh, you know, charismatic. You no know, dominant person, very extroverted, gregarious, generous, but at the same time maybe domineering and arrogant. And another thing too is that you may be someone that's a conversation dominator if you have, you know, this um, aspect in your natal chart. You know, especially if you have it in a sign like Leo. I mean, Leo likes to, you know, is it likes to dominate anyway. And if somebody has the sun. Um, conjunct Mercury in Leo, then it's a person that's likely really going to, you know, take hold of conversations or even like you have it in, you know, voluble Gemini. You know, Gemini can talk up a storm, so it's like, you know, this would be a, a, an aspect with this in Gemini, the person would really, might be someone that's just talking a lot, even talking over others at times. Now, another thing too, um, Having this aspect, you know, the person may speak in a very, you know, verbose and eloquent manner um, as well. And also, too, you know, the ego may be damaged if someone, you know, doesn't necessarily agree with what this person with this aspect has to say. So it has, it's, it's important to remember for, for people with this aspect, you know, not to be, you know, feel demeaned or, you know, don't feel, you know, take it to heart. It's just because somebody doesn't agree with you on a subject. It just means, you know, they're expressing, you know, their own opinion, just like you're doing, you know, the same with yours. And, you know, both people may be right in their own way. And, um, Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Leonard saying, stay well.